What do you say? Are we backing up the whole Santa myth? Hi, this is Daphne Brogdon from Cool Mom. Oh, I was trying to look like Santa, but I might look like something of the Iranian hostage crisis. Okay, so Christmas time, kids, what do you say? Are we backing up the whole Santa myth? Um, and along with that tooth fairy, Easter bunny, how do y'all handle that? Um, my feeling is I think pre-kids, I might have thought I would be more hardcore realistic. <laughs> now that I'm in this situation, I'm actually kind of, Going along with it. I have a different stance for each of those um, entities in our house. I didn't want to do um, Santa, and I don't do Santa. However, she does believe in Santa. Like I said, we don't like we don't go sit on Santa's lap. We don't do anything around Santa. But I don't tell her Santa doesn't exist either. Like I don't want to ruin the magic for her if she wants to believe in the magic. We believe in Santa in this house. Um, I say we because um, having the tradition of Santa is as much for me as it is for my kids because it's so much fun. I love it. I loved it as a kid. I love looking forward to it. I love the excitement that it brings. And also, Santa is awesome leverage. I don't know if there's any more awesomer leverage uh, than Santa. And, I, and we have used that leverage on so many occasions and it works almost better than anything else. Leverage, agreed, on the leverage point. Um, I feel like there is a lot to be gained by using reward in a consistent way. And Santa is the big reward in the sky. Y'all, I think we are fooling ourselves if we think that this is our decision. Whether to tell them or not to tell them, because like Karen was saying, if it's not you, it's going to be the lady at the checkout counter. It's going to be a teacher. It's going to be the other kids. And then you've got your kid coming home like, why was I not informed about this Santa thing? My jumping off point for this was because I was reading this article about the uh, the Goslins and it said the nine, their nine-year-olds don't believe in Santa anymore. And I know enough about that family, but I thought, well, sure, nine, they don't believe in it anymore. But the little ones, I mean, my daughter's four, so I think... Uh, you know, let's 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 keep let's keep it going. Let's keep the fun going. Even though I think I'm doing it kind of with a wink and a nudge, like it's not like super serious. <laughs> so that one day when she kind of figures it out, I don't think it's gonna be like, Mama, you lied to me. Tooth fairy. Yes, she has not lost a tooth yet, but she very much believes in the tooth fairy because she's very into earning her own money so that she can buy her own things and she knows that the Tooth Fairy is going to bring her some money and put it under her pillow. And that was our fatal mistake with that one because under no circumstances does she want some strange fairy walking into her room in the middle of the night and getting near her face. Do you know what I'm saying? She's like, can you please tell the Tooth Fairy to leave the money outside of my locked door? I told her, I said, you know what? You're gonna bankrupt the Tooth Fairy with all of this. And she said, no, 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 it's okay because she leaves money because that's what we spend. But she spends teeth, so it's actually a fair trade. So she, she has it all figured out with the Tooth Fairy. I don't know, it's fun, it's fun. Don't overthink it. You know, like let your kid have some wonder, let your kid have some magic. They'll figure out soon enough that things are bleaker than they believed. It's perfect. It's just mind-blowingly perfect. And I'm all in for it, you know? Lita, you're gonna use it too. So don't get mad at me when you find out it's not real. <laughs> what do you think? Is it useful having these myths? Do you do it? Or are you really realistic? Happy holidays! Join the Momversation at momversation.com.